Welcome to Storytime with Sunshine Ludi. Hi, my name is Sunshine Ludi, and I have a poem for you today that I wrote two years ago. Uh, it was my husband's 94th birthday, and his daughter, Allison, came to visit, and we decided while we were together to clean up the garage because the garage was a, pretty much of a disaster. This is the limerick I wrote. Birthday present for 94-year-old dad and husband. That's Allison and me, Sunshine. The garage, a disaster, a mess. Pathway through it, an obstacle test. New Orleans daughter said, we can make it look nice. Wife smiled. I don't have to think twice. Thanks. That would be just the best. The dad lived in Laguna Woods. Played poker whenever he could. New Orleans' daughter was here. His 94th birthday was near. You would think he'd stay home as he should. All afternoon he did play. His daughter and wife worked all day. Garage slightly improved, so much removed, by a handyman who they did pay. The next day, while the dad slept, the team removed junk that was kept. The organizing job they aced, possessions carefully placed. Then finally, the floor they swept. When daughter left, garage was clean at last. Came his birthday, he read wife's card rather fast so he could spend the rest of the day with his poker friends at play. Wife danced her heart out and had a blast. Last night in the garage, she heard a moan. He said, let me suffer this sorrow alone. You threw it away. I need it today. So wife offered these words to atone. Whatever you think is needed, we can buy it again, she pleaded. So he went to the store where he found something more and didn't seem to feel he was cheated. Man is filled with discombobulation as he searches in utter frustration. Shakes his head in despair. I've looked everywhere. Not quite a post-birthday celebration. His daughter called today. Here's what he had to say. Thank you, my dear. That you love me is clear. Eventually, I'll be okay. To put a positive spin on this tale, the dad and his brain, alive, well, he is loving and kind though sometimes wrong in mind, he's loved more than this poem can tell.